When most people think of wartime shelters, they picture tents made of canvas or tarps coated in oil. But during World War II, when supplies ran low and mobility was everything, soldiers in Europe and the Pacific turned to something far simpler and, well, far more surprising. They built their shelters out of paper. Yes, paper. But not the kind that turns to mush in a drizzle. This was a special waterproof paper developed out of necessity, tough enough to shed rain, resist tearing, and even block wind. It was lightweight, easy to pack, and could be folded, layered, or sewn together on the move. For many troops, it meant the difference between shivering in the open and sleeping dry. Today, this forgotten wartime innovation still holds valuable lessons for survivalists, preppers, and anyone who values low-cost, low-tech resilience. As the Second World War dragged on, shortages hit every front. Cotton for tents, canvas for tarps, and even rubber for waterproof coatings. Armies needed something cheap, lightweight, and easily mass-produced that could still stand up to the elements. Paper, of all things, became the unexpected solution. It started in Britain and Japan almost simultaneously. British field engineers began experimenting with paper treated with paraffin wax, linseed oil, or shellac. Japanese units, known for their efficiency with limited resources, refined the technique using washi, traditional mulberry paper, coated in natural oils and lacquer. The result was a material called oil paper cloth, or waterproof craft. It was flexible, surprisingly strong, and capable of repelling water for weeks at a time. Soon this paper cloth was being used for everything from field maps and ammunition wraps to makeshift tents, ponchos, and even ground sheets. It became a silent hero of wartime logistics. Cheap, disposable, and effective. The secret behind the waterproof paper wasn't complicated. It relied on layering and saturation. First, engineers used heavy craft or fibre paper, often reinforced with cotton or jute fibres. The paper was then soaked in melted wax or a mixture of linseed oil and resin. The coating filled the paper's microscopic pores, preventing water absorption while maintaining flexibility. The process varied depending on available resources. British soldiers stationed in North Africa often made their own waterproof sheets in the field. They melted paraffin candles, brushed the liquid wax over layers of paper, and pressed them together with heated metal plates. In colder European climates, troops added linseed oil for elasticity and to prevent cracking in the cold. Once treated and dried, the paper became surprisingly resilient. It could be folded and unfolded multiple times without tearing, and when layered or sewn, it formed a watertight surface capable of withstanding heavy rain. Tests conducted by United States engineers later showed that double-layered waxed paper sheets could resist water for up to 72 hours under steady downpour. Impressive performance for a product made from pulp and wax. In practice, soldiers turned these paper sheets into whatever form their situation demanded. Infantrymen used them as quick lean-tos by draping them over poles or rifles stuck into the ground, anchoring the edges with stones or branches. In the Pacific, U.S. Marines and Japanese troops used waxed paper sheets to line foxholes, keeping mud from soaking through. British paratroopers carried folded oil paper tarps in their packs, using them as both ground covers and rain shelters. In extreme conditions, several sheets were stitched or glued together with heated resin to form small bivouacs that could fit two men. They weighed a fraction of a traditional canvas tent and could be burned after use to prevent enemy discovery. 
For many soldiers, especially those on long-range patrols or reconnaissance missions, the waterproof paper shelter became an indispensable piece of kit. It provided dry rest in rain-soaked terrain without adding bulk or weight to their packs. For modern survivalists, this wartime trick is not just a fascinating piece of history. It's a practical skill. Recreating waterproof paper is straightforward and can be done with materials found in most households. Start with thick craft paper, parchment, or even cardboard if you need extra durability. Melt a small amount of paraffin wax or beeswax in a tin can over gentle heat. Using a brush, apply the wax evenly over one side of the paper, allowing it to soak in. Flip and repeat. For a more flexible finish, mix in a small amount of linseed oil before applying. It will keep the coating from cracking in cold weather. Once coated, place the paper between two old towels and press with a warm iron to distribute the wax evenly. When cooled, you'll have a tough, flexible sheet that resists water and can be folded or sewn. Layering two or three treated sheets together with a thin smear of wax between them can produce a waterproof material suitable for tarps, ground covers or emergency shelters. In field conditions, this technique allows you to make improvised protection using common materials, an invaluable skill for camping, survival or disaster preparedness. The brilliance of the W. Poutoun waterproof paper lies in its simplicity and adaptability. It demonstrated how soldiers, cut off from traditional supplies, could still create functional gear with local materials and ingenuity. It's a perfect example of what military historians call field innovation, problem-solving under extreme pressure. Modern versions of this technology still exist. Oil paper and waxed canvas are used by outdoor enthusiasts and bushcrafters for fireproof cooking wraps and rain gear. But the principle remains the same. Protect natural fibres by sealing their pores with a water-resistant coating. For off-grid builders, this same concept can waterproof small shelters, roofs or even insulation barriers. For preppers, it's a lightweight, renewable way to create waterproof protection without relying on plastic or synthetics. In a world increasingly focused on sustainable survival methods, the old WW2 waterproof paper stands as a quiet reminder that effective solutions don't always need advanced technology, just knowledge, patience and the will to adapt. The waterproof paper soldiers used as shelter may sound like a forgotten footnote in history, but it was one of the most ingenious wartime adaptations ever developed. It kept men alive, dry and moving when traditional supplies ran out, proving that resilience often comes from the simplest materials. For anyone passionate about history, craftsmanship or survival, it's a technique worth preserving and practising. If you enjoyed uncovering this lost piece of W.O.B. ingenuity, don't let the knowledge fade again. Subscribe to In the Beginning for more deep-dive stories about the forgotten technologies that shaped history, and that can still serve us today. Share this guide with fellow history enthusiasts and survival-minded friends, and keep the legacy of practical innovation alive one rediscovery at a time.